first stop is the Great Barrier Reef. It is located off the coast of Queensland in northeastern Australia. Could you imagine being able to experience this through your own eyes or even getting the opportunity to scuba dive through this beautiful reef? The reef is massive. It stretches over 2,300 kilometers and takes up an area of 344,000 square kilometers. That is an area the size of, well, this! Going from Vancouver, stretching all the way up to Alberta's Saskatchewan border, up to Edmonton, and then all the way back down. Not only that, but the coral reef acts as an entire ecosystem. It hosts tens of thousands of species, many that are endangered or close to extinction. It is essential for the reef to continue to grow and sustain life to ensure survival of mammals, fish, and organisms. The reef is a world heritage site that is absolutely breathtaking. It is something you guys should all try to see in your lifetimes. The next stop is the Amazon Rainforest. It is located in northwestern Brazil and extends into Colombia and other South American countries. The Amazon Rainforest is known for its incredible ability to sustain life. Its vast amount of trees account for more than 20% of the world's oxygen alone. It is also very biodiverse, being home to 427 mammal species, 13,000 types of birds, 378 reptiles, and over 400 amphibians. It is also home to many endangered species, such as the cougar and jaguar. Since the 1970s, 14,000 square kilometers of forests have been cleared, which is more than a fourth of the entire land. If this pattern continues, we risk the extinction of various forms of life. The Amazon rainforest is also home to many various tribes of indigenous peoples in South America. They depend on the rainforest for everything that allows them to survive. The vast canopy creates a beautiful setting, one that everyone should try and capture with their own eyes. Now we're in the Sahara Desert, the largest hot desert in the world, covering over 9 million square kilometers. Half of the Sahara Desert receives less than an inch of rain each year. The rest of the desert only gets up to 4 inches. Thousands of years ago, the desert held enough water to sustain life for both people and animals. There's even evidence that crocodiles once lived there. Today there is very little water and next to no vegetation to sustain life, with some exceptions like Nile Valley. With global warming increasing, water holes are going to dry up, decreasing the life in the Sahara Desert even further. Now we're making a quick stop to New Zealand, home of the famous watermelon glowworm caves. Just look around, you can tell how beautiful it is. The cave is filled with a species of worms native to New Zealand called Acrocampa luminosa. In certain stages of development, they are luminescent and are able to brighten the dark caves. The caves were first explored in the late 1880s and tours are now open to the public. This means that in your future travels, you could see these captivating limestone caves and glowworms with your own eyes. We're gonna finish our trip strong, but also a little cold, in the biggest desert in the world, Antarctica! I know what you're thinking. How can Antarctica be a desert? It's not hot, and it has ice and snow everywhere. It only gets 50 millimeters of precipitation annually, which classifies it as a desert. So although Antarctica holds 70% of the world's fresh water, and is the coldest place on Earth, it is still a desert. A desert that is 14.2 million square kilometers. Antarctica is home to many wildlife, but if we don't do something fast, global warming and pollution will make it so future generations will never see the amazing creatures of the South Pole. We gotta get out of here, Keenan, before I freeze my tail off. Let's go! Lastly, we're going to look at our home, beautiful British Columbia. Visiting some of the most amazing places that are right in our backyard. Wells Great Provincial Park, over 5,000 square kilometers of pure beauty. Tofino, it's sitting right on the coast. It's a living history nestled in breathtaking landscapes. Whistler, it is the number one resort in North America. Seeing its amazing features, it's hard not to understand why. Pacific Rim National Park, located on the west coast of Vancouver Island, is full of pristine wildlife and endless beaches. Yoho National Park, home to some of British Columbia's most rugged and scenic mountain terrain. 
These remarkable places are only a car ride away. But don't take them for granted. Go out and see beautiful British Columbia.